what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is akeem haynes i'm a two-time olympian olympic bronze medalist author motivational speaker and sports commentator on my channel we talk boxing mma track and field and of course motivation and encouraging content if this is something that you enjoy then i hope that you subscribe to the channel now let's get into the video ko fima lopez versus pedro campo what do we think of this fight ko fima is back in the ring this weekend in a new division there's been a lot of talk regarding Teofima, but a lot of it hasn't been inside of the ring, right? He's had a lot of things happening outside of the ring and in his life. And to be honest, I think he needed the break to step away from boxing, get himself right mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I hope the break has helped him rejuvenate himself and he's ready to get back in the ring because he is a tremendous talent with a lot of skills in his toolbox. For a good portion of Teofima's career, he has been walking through his opponents, either knocking them out or beating them unanimously, right? Teofima can box, he's fast, he's powerful, he's sharp, he's strong, he's got a good chin. When he is dialed in mentally, he's a tough opponent to beat, in my opinion. A confident, composed Teofima Lopez is a guy that's tough to beat. He's got a good jab, strong right hand, good movement in the ring, sharp reflexes. He generally, to me, looks like the bigger fighter in most of his fight, which is probably why he's moving up a division because the weight cut is probably too tough for him at this stage in his career. And some of the training videos that I saw of him, he looks good. He looks, he looks cut. He looks like he is filling out. From a physical standpoint, he passes the eye test. Teofim was a guy that uses his size, right? He likes to break you down right? This is a guy who can punch and he knows that. When he fought George Cambosis, it was a very good and exciting fight despite all the delays. I think it really lived up to the hype. I thought he lost the fight because he was trying so hard to knock Cambosis out in the early round and he was forcing the fight instead of setting everything up. He kept saying, I'm going to knock him out in the first round. I'm thinking to myself, man, you can't just take your opponents lightly like that, right? But he came in the later rounds, but it wasn't enough. He looked tired in the 11th and 12th and didn't seem like his conditioning was there and Cambosis got the win. In his fight against Vasily Lomachenko, he did the opposite. I felt like he knew Loma was going to be more of a chess match and he was going to have to use tactics and he was going to have to find different ways to get openings and land his shots and not force them. But in the later rounds, he gave up some rounds to Loma and he made it a close fight. Now, news came out that Lomachenko hurt his shoulder. That was a good win for Teofima Lopez because one, obviously he won the belt, but we also got to see some more of the skills that he possesses, not just the puncher, but the boxer. We got to see his patience. We got to see the counter punching. We got to see a lot more of the talent that he has to offer inside of the ring. And so I'm interested to see what version of Teofima Lopez do we get to see this weekend? And also emotionally, where is he? right? That's a big part of it as well too. You cannot come into any boxing match emotionally. You have to make sure that you are there. Let's talk about Pedro Campa. He's coming into this fight with a record of 34, 1 and 1, a record with 23 wins coming by the way of knockout. He hasn't lost a fight since 2017. He's been on a tear ever since that loss, so he's confident, which is what you want a fighter to have. Campbell is a good boxer. He's a come forward type of fighter. He's not here to dance around the ring. He's not here to try and look pretty. He's not here to do any of that. He's here to fight, right? He's here to walk you down, close the gap and let his hands go. And if you aren't careful, you will get clipped with either hand. He has pop in both. He stopped his last opponent, Carlos Valdez, with the left hook and he's a good body puncher. He's got very good conditioning in his legs and Campbell's got a lot of heart. And sometimes that can carry you in a fight. This isn't a guy to be taken lightly because he, he didn't just get 34 wins on fluke, right? Every time he stepped in the ring, he found a way to get the win. So you cannot take him lightly. So who wins this fight? In my opinion, I think this fight favors Teofima quite a bit because Kampa is going to come forward and he's going to try to apply the pressure. And it's not, to me, it's not going to require a type of thinking that he had to do against Lomachenko, a type of thinking that he had to adjust and make a adjustments later in the fight against George Cambosis. This is a guy who's going to come forward and Campa does not have the best head movement, doesn't have the best footwork. He's not the de best defensive fighter, right? And if Teofima comes in and sets everything up, uses the jab, goes to the body, he will be able to get Campa out of there, right? 
to me, this is a tailored fight for him, especially new division, because it's not going to require someone who is hard to hit. He's going to hit Campo and Campo is going to be there to get hit. It's just to see how Teofima sets up everything and how he is inside of the ring in this new division. I think Teofima is going to break him down, but if he overextends himself, if he overlooks Campo, he might get caught with the right hand or that left hand and Teofima could go down in this fight. But if he comes in composed and feeling like his old self and doesn't try to force the fight, I don't think he should have a problem in this fight. I just think Campo is an easy target to hit. And I think this is tailored for Teofima Lopez. And I know that he will want to put on a good performance, right? He's heard all of the things people are saying, all of the stuff the media is saying. And I know he wants to come in and put in a great performance. I'm just hoping that he doesn't let the crowd and the noise get to him where he forces the fight and finds himself in trouble. Because again, Kempo, he's got pop in both hands and you cannot take someone like that lightly. But I have Teofima Lopez winning this one by KO in the later rounds. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 1,000 subs and I need your help to get there. If you would like to support the channel by way of donation, options will be in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated appreciate it. So make sure that you like, share, and comment. Let me know your thoughts. So with that being said, if you've been watching this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.